What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So Ryan's working on this GMC Denali 2018 with 120K on it. And the magnetic ride control struts are destroyed. What makes these so special? Well, when they are working perfectly fine, it does enhance the vehicle's ride. The ECM is monitoring, uh, the ride control module is monitoring vehicle ride height and the stability front and rear. So it could say with magnetic pulses, right, pulse width modulations, is add resistance or not add resistance to the piston, which is pretty cool, right? Using, mag using magnets. Um, Not just normal magnets, electromagnets. Is it electromagnet? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> so, um, what's good about it, it has superior handling and ride quality. I don't really care for it. It's not for me. Just like air ride suspension, it's not for me. I'm a traditional coil spring and uh, shock or strut guy. I am definitely not a, a leaf spring or a mono leaf guy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'm thinking about taking the wheel off my truck to do uh, for the And I'm definitely a short arm, long arm front suspension guy, like my G body versus anything else. But it's very, it's a very good design. And the bad thing is, it's going to cost you a lot of money to fix your suspension when there's a problem. Yeah. Just for the strut itself, or struts, or air ride in the back. Um, but when it fails, um, the vehicle is, is feeling this, right? So the ride height sensors. Or feeling that oscillation that you're not feeling and the magnetic ride control is going crazy because it doesn't know what to do so it's yeah. trying to dampen that and it can't dampen because there's usually no gas charge left in it where a magnetic ride control has failed and it makes it feel like a low rider or it's riding on you know no shocks or struts yeah. so it's very very distinctive feel when your magnetic ride control has failed versus when a traditional shock or strut has failed uh, you would get that wow bounce and then now the magnetic ride control is trying to to, to stop that that strut from oscillating um, and it's doing everything in its power to add that force to it um, the good thing for us is that it's very it's a very very distinctive problem when you get into it most people trade their vehicles in for this one reason because when the dealer tells them it's four or five thousand dollars to do all four struts and then we're just going to give you a scenario we didn't even finish looking at this car yet so we're working on the struts. The front tires are shot on this car. So now you know what two tires cost on a Denali, right? How much do they cost? Uh, Got to be every bit of three hundred dollars a piece. I think five to six hundred, yeah. Right. So our, our simple math: magnetic ride control struts, OEMs, two grand ish. Alignment, $200 at the dealer. Two front tires, 600 bucks easy. Uh, any worn suspension components, so what's the math right there? You're close to two, three, a little over $3,000, and that's not even really getting any work completely done to your vehicle, not including the rear suspension, not including the side step that doesn't work. Um, you can convert these, so I, I have a, a resistor bypass where you can put just the regular traditional shock and strut in there and then we can bypass the magnetic ride control with resistors and you won't have any warning lights. So that's how I make it more affordable for, for people to do this job. Um, there are some companies out uh, in the, uh, the internet land that you can buy two of these for like 300 bucks or 400 bucks. How long do you think those are going to last? I don't, yeah, anything that you get that, that, that cost effective usually doesn't last very long. Um, or, you know, I had a guy supply, supply, supply a kit, we plugged it in, and the ride control sensor was failed inside of it already, so I had to bypass one side. It is what it is. Thanks for watching.